right, hey everyone. It is Thursday, November the 2nd of 2023, and we are about to start our journey through the Panama Canal, and that's coming up right after this. traveling with Justin I am Justin yes I have a hat on and stuff like that it's really early on Thursday November the 2nd and we are about to start our journey through the Panama Canal so let's flip the camera around and let's show you the views I'm showing you the views right now so there's the city right over there it was over here last night but now it's over there so it was towards the front of the ship last night but now it's towards the aft and then we're going to look out this way it does look like there's a line of boats waiting to go through looks like we're moving slowly but the harbor pilot or the panama canal pilot um came aboard about 4 45 this morning it's currently about 6 a.m panama time This is what it looks like right now. It is a beautiful, beautiful view. All right, so it appears that we've made a U-turn because the city is over there right now. So you can see we have another boat right here behind us. But it looks like this little buoy out here, looks like that might be the path to start the canal because there's a whole bunch out there keep you updated all right so we are coming upon the bridge of america it's bridging two americas together to south america to north america central america yeah it's just bridging the two americas together it's kind of cool this is the second bridge that we've gone under on this trip so you know it's kind of cool i i i like i like it when we go under the bridges and stuff like that it just makes it look cool that they make the bridges tall enough so ships can go underneath them. Big ships, too. Like container ships and cruise ships. I don't know if some of the bigger ones can fit in there. Um, yeah, we'll have to maybe explore that possibility another time. But we are just in the journey in the lane to get to the Panama Canal. As you can see, there was a lot of people out there who had the same idea as we did to come up to Bread Deck 15 to see what's going on. See, there's another pilot right there getting aboard the ship right now. I think they had two, maybe four pilots. I don't know how many people they had on the ship, but they had a lot. So we are entering into the first lock right there. I'm just showing you the, a lot of people. Okay. So my filming skills have got to improve, but just bear with me, okay? So yeah, we are coming into the first lock right here. And look at that. That is looking towards the back. And it looks like the ship is like, oh, struggling right there. Yeah, I'm going to go back and forth. I do apologize. But it was I was just trying to capture the moment there and trying to get the full effect of going through the first lock of the Panama Canal. It, it's a beautiful place down there. If you get a chance, I would go down there and just look at the beauty. And of course, go on the ship because then you can look at the, the Panama Canal and going through the locks. It was kind of cool to go through those locks. And so, yeah, the ship was pulling in there. We had another ship ahead of us. As you can see, there's a lot of people out there on deck 15, right above the bridge. The bridge is on deck 14. Then we had fitness up there on deck 16. And deck 17, with all the glass, was the sanctuary. But yeah, we were coming into this lock. It was, it was cool. As the ship was just slowly making its way into the lock so that we can close the back lock so we can begin the journey up so they were 
we would go in and then they would raise us up and then we would go in and then they would raise us up so we can get into the Panama lakes. So look at that. I mean, yeah, the new locks gives us plenty of room. Uh, the old locks, the, yeah, the ruby would not fit in the new, in the old locks, only the new locks. Cause it's too, it's too wide. So the Carnival Splendor is actually the first big size cruise ship to use these new locks when they came available in 2016. So yeah, that was, it was, that would be kind of cool. As you can see, there's lots of things going on. Right here, you can see that the lock is hollow. Yes, the locks are hollow. When they push it out, it's hollow. So there's not that much room. So right here, this is on deck 15. I don't know if I would like to have this cabin. It's a big deck, but you have to look at people looking at you all the time if they're up on top of the bridge. So here we are. There's a tugboat right down there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not to kind of slow us down um, before we going into the locks. So look at, I don't know if you can tell, but look how close we are to the side of the ship. Yeah, I'm coming up right up here. Yeah, look at that. There's lots of people out there on their balconies looking at how close we are to that side. And so those back locks are about to open up and, um, or no, they were closing, sorry. Here we are on the Skywalker back in the back of the ship. We've made it through the locks. Um, we are at the back of the ship right now, and we're looking around at the Panama Canal. So it did rain. So here's a cargo ship that is actually being pushed by a tugboat. It's gonna get pushed by a tugboat here in a minute. And there's some people boarding this cargo ship. But, so when we were going through the canal, it was raining, then the fog rolled in. I mean, that was kind of cool. The fog just rolled in and then it lifted in about 20 minutes. I, should, I wish I got pictures of it, but I, I did not. See, yeah, those, it's amazing how strong those tugboats are to push that cargo ship, you know, push it forward. So now we are at the other side of the locks and we're headed towards the Atlantic Ocean. So yeah, those locks opened up. We're going in. The, there's another cargo ship right there. So as you can see, it's lower than we are. As you can see, you can see the tugboat kind of up there. But we're waiting for that lock to close up in the beginning. And then that will raise up. No, let's see here. Nope, yeah, we're waiting for that to close so we can go down and then we can go forward. The The locks took forever, forever to close. I mean, yeah, it's you're pushing water out of the way and you're trying to make a connection. Yeah, it, it was a slow process. You know, I, I didn't think it would take, you know, 30 seconds to open and 30 seconds to close. No, I didn't think that. And there are some people out there who are a lot of impatientness, but that's fine. They're impatient. And we even saw a crocodile on our journey. Now, you can see that the locks are opening right now. Um, but yeah, we had a crocodile. I'll, th I'll throw a picture um, here somewhere of the crocodile that was in the water with us. Well, not with us, but trying to go through the locks. I don't think he paid his fair share, but yeah, the crocodile went w through the locks with us. And it is common. We did find out that that crocodile goes back and forth all the time. So, I don't know why, but yeah, he's, I don't know if it's he 
the crocodile just loves to go back and forth between the lake and the Atlantic Ocean. So yeah, you can see how kind of slow this is moving. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, make me up when it's done. But it's kind of cool to actually sit down, well, we didn't sit down, but stand there and just watch technology at work. I mean, yeah, these are the newer locks. I like to go through the old locks just to see what that technology looked like when they built it back in, uh, finished it in 1914. Um, but yeah, no, this is um, 2016 technology right here. I'm sure they've updated the locks on the old locks. You know, 1914 technology is a little bit old. But it, it is kind of cool. It is kind of cool right here. And then we're going to go through. You can see how the water's level. We're going to go through. And then we're going to wait for that boat to get out so we can go down. So you can see how kind of lower that boat is there. And that bridge out there is the Atlantic Bridge. So this is how close we are to the, court, to the side of the Panama uh, canal and these locks right here. It, it's it's kind of cool. You can't reach out and touch it, but see the locks behind us? It is closing off. There's another ship waiting for us. Let's talk to Justin. All right, hey everyone, Justin here. And today has been a good day through the Panama Canal. As you can see behind me, we are currently in the last lock here in Panama and we will move up front here in just a minute but yeah we went through the first set of locks this morning um, my father-in-law and I we stood up here on the bridge where I'm at right now it was, it was, it was hot and humid and things like that we, we stood up here and we went through we, we saw us go through the first lock but then we went in because it was going to take about two hours and we were both hungry but We've been standing out here on these locks for um, the whole entire time as we made our way from back there. Let's flip. You guys can see that ship back there. Keep my finger. That ship right there. And you can see that ship right there. That's where we started. There was a cargo ship in front of us. between 15 and 30 minutes to go up and drain the lock so they're even with that in front of us right there. That's the Atlantic Bridge. I'll be doing a little video like that in just a minute. But yeah, it's been a good day here in Panama. It has rained off and on, like it has a whole entire trip, but it, it, it's been good. When we were sitting in Skywalkers after breakfast, I mean, we had a great view of the lake and the canals and stuff like that, but it was also raining and the fog rolled in quickly. And so that's kind of, yeah, I'm just glad we were able to see the locks before the, um, the fog rolled in. So that is a good thing. But let's, let's take a look as we're going out of this last set of locks. Of logs, not logs. Oh, yeah, there's a crocodile. I'm sure you've seen that in here, but that, that's kind of cool. There is a crocodile that swings back and forth in the channel. So, interesting, huh? So, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, I am currently out on top of the bridge. This is deck 15. If you look at the deck 15 video, you'll see how to get here. But that right up there is deck 16. And then that deck right up there is deck 17. That's the sanctuary right up there. That'd be awesome to go up there and do it. But yeah, that's the fitness center right there. And then we're deck 15 here. And then there's a deck down below. All the way around the front, so any of those would be kind of cool. But I wonder if 
wonder if they paid the twenty dollars for half a day or forty for the full day. I can't open this things where I can see this view. So yeah, it's pretty nice out here. And so we are actually entering into the Atlantic Ocean right now. So, yeah, we've been on the Pacific Ocean for a long time. And now we are officially in the Atlantic Ocean. It is kind of cool to actually go from one ocean to the other ocean. And as you can tell, we're still kind of close to it. So, yeah, that is kind of nice. There's not that many people up there. Uh, most of them probably gone to bed or went to eat or something like that. But we actually stayed through the two hours. It took us go f through the whole entire locks going from the Panama Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. So it was kind of cool. And there is a bridge up there ahead of us. It's called the Atlantic Bridge. And it was kind of cool. That's the third bridge that we went under on this trip. See how cool it is? It lit up in the Panamanian colors. Um, so it was it was cool that it was actually that. Yeah, it, it's just cool. All right, I like things like this. Um, my wife thought it was kind of cool how. They lit it up for us, but I think it's a common thing they do there in Panama to light up the bridge as the ships are going underneath. And yeah, and there's to the left of us, there is um, ships coming out of the old locks. So yeah, they had the old and the new, and they were running ships through both of them. But I would like to experience the old locks. But yeah, the Atlantic Bridge right here is kind of cool. You can either go from the Atlantic to the Pacific, or you can go from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean. So just, yeah, just look at that view right there. Hi right, hey everybody. Yep, it's Justin from home. I thought I did a closing when I was on the locks, but apparently I did not. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. I focused mostly on the locks instead of the transit of the um, Panama Canal. I did get some shots, but there was some fog there for a little bit. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to find out more about the videos I have coming out, hit that bell notification after you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, until the next video, have a good one, and I will see you later. Bye.